How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It's time for another update clues video. As you know, every month, one week before an update gets released, we get sent an image full of clues as to what's in the update called Torben Tuesday. This month in question we are getting update number 14. It's coming out about a week and a bit away and we're finding out about the update, the confirmed features on Monday next week. So all the clues we're going to investigate today are going to be confirmed or falsified, if that's a word, by Monday. But I like to know features very early. So as usual, we have a photo full of clues. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to tell you what I think is going to be in the update, what seems to be confirmed for the update. There's eight topics I'm going over from this image, which is actually quite a lot. So it seems like we may already know a ton about the update. We'll find out if I'm right or not on Monday. Here is this month's photo. As you can see, it's pretty normal. Just like the other ones, we've got, well, we've got Torben in the corner, we've got Retro, we've got the cowboy guy, and we've got the image full of goodiness clues. I'm going to start with a thing that's actually probably confirmed. You may remember last month's Torben Tuesday, they were hinting towards a new root creator feature. And in the live stream, they showed us the new waypoint editor for the new root creator. However, they said that this isn't coming out until update 14, which is this month. And if we look at this image, we can see that yet again on the whiteboard, they have the root creator thing drawn up, that little snake looking thing. So that tells me it's confirmed that in this update, in update 14, we're getting the new root creator feature that allows you to go back and edit your created roots without having to start them again if you test them and notice something's wrong. So that is one of the many things. Now, let's start on all the new stuff that we genuinely don't know anything about. As I said, we're going to find out all about Update 14 on Monday in their live stream. So that's about five, six days away. So we've got plenty of time to guess what these clues are to see if we're right. So in this image, there's lots to look at. There's absolutely loads. Forgetting the root creator thing, which was already confirmed, there's still actually quite a bit. I'm going to start on the whiteboard and we'll go through it all. So on the whiteboard, board in the top left hand corner there are what seems to be two identical cars and then an arrow pointing at a bag of CR. Now this to me is hinting at duplicate cars from wheel spins. Um, they have actually said in the live stream that they're working on this I believe so it seems like in this update update 14 next week we seem to be getting the ability to sell duplicate cars that we get in wheel spins. So that seems to possibly be a feature that we may be getting according to the whiteboard the drawings. Now there's still plenty more on the whiteboard. For example, we have a couple of numbers below those cars, 2,750 and then above that is 250. Now, believe it or not, there's apparently 2,500 gamer score worth of achievements on Forza Horizon 4. So that number 250 could be hinting at an extra 250 gamer score, which would make 2750 total. So could we be seeing another 250 G's worth of achievements coming to the game next week? That could very well be what the numbers are all about. So that's another thing we may be getting. Then below that we have a birthday cake with a one candle on the top, and this could mean nothing but Forza Horizon 4's anniversary. Believe it or not, Forza Horizon 4 is just coming up on being one year old, so maybe we're going to get some kind of anniversary type update. Maybe we'll get a few gifts, I'm not sure. But it's quite obvious that that's what the cake is hinting at. It's Forza Horizon 4's birthday very soon, within the next couple of weeks, I believe. So we maybe get some free gifts, some free prizes, I don't know. Something might happen in game for Forza Horizon 4's birthday anyway. Now what else is on the board that is interesting? Well, let me tie loads of things together. There is a picture of what seems to be Sonic with the catchphrase gotta go fast above it. Just to the left of him there is a spider with the number 19 written next to it. Further down we have what seems to be a lorry with a spider's web on the back along with some pipes which seem to be like the Mario pipes, you know what I mean. Mario tubes, not pipes. And then below that we have a fish with what seems to be a long tail. Many, many things could be meant by this. As you know, McLaren has quite a lot of long tail cars, and especially the new speed tail car, which looks mental, a super high-end hypercar. Now, could this fish with the long tail be hinting at us getting the McLaren speed tail, which will be pretty awesome? Or could it be hinting at the long tail cars 
For example, there's the McLaren 675LT, the McLaren 600LT, or the upcoming 750. Whatever it is, this fish seems to be hinting at some kind of long tail thing, and the chances are it's probably a McLaren long tail of some sorts. Now remember, the Bugatti that just recently hit the 300 mile an hour record was also a long tail version of the Bugatti Chiron. Could it be hinting at that? I doubt it. I'm hinting towards probably more of them with Clarins, to be honest, but it's still on the table, I guess. Now, if we look further up, as I said, there's lots of spider-related things, and as you know, spider can mean a lot of things. If we combine the long tail hints with the spiders that are on there, it seems pretty obvious that they maybe go together, and this would mean a 675 long tail spider. 675LT spider. There's so many hints hinting towards some kind of spider car that's a long tail with the fish and the spider webs. And along with that, there's the number 19 next to the spider, which would indicate it being a 2019 car. So it's entirely possible, to be honest, in this update, we're maybe getting a 2019 675LT spider, a 600LT spider, speed tail, probably not, but we'll see. Now, if we look at the truck again, there's obviously the the Mario pipes, and everyone knows that Mario is Italian. Now, the technically, there's something Italian next to the spider's web. Does that mean we're getting some kind of Italian spider car? Lamborghini Performante Spider, for example? I don't know. The fact that Sonic's on there as well that says, gotta go fast, could just be a red herring, could just be something to fool us, or it could be hinting at something fast. So, so could these pipes be hinting at more of an Italian type update as well? Italian cars, maybe a Lamborghini Performante Spider. Anyway, onto the rest of the things on the whiteboard. Now, there's not really much else that I've managed to figure out. At the bottom, we have a couple of balloons which say 28 and then a number 2, kind of splitting from one string. I've had a think and I've no idea what this could mean. Then up at the top, we've got... Then up at the top, we have some text, which seems to say car class, length, start point, and then a little magnifying glass with a person next to it. To be honest, I think this may be hinting at giving us the ability to search for route created waypoints. We can now go to a search area and search for a car class, search for a length, and search for a start point of a custom race that we want to play, and it will find us root custom root created points if that makes sense then a bit further down there's some more text which i can't really read it seems to say gvid starter gvid shorter and then the number nine i can't tell i don't really know what any of that could mean to be honest i'm not going to take any guesses but there's some other text on the board now let's quickly move on to the monitors the middle one and the right hand one, I haven't got a clue, I don't think anyone's really looked into that because I don't think there's any clues on there, but on the left hand monitor, there's suspiciously a picture of a, a barn of some sort, and people are saying, could we be getting a new barn find? Could we be getting a new Horizon story, for example? It's quite a random thing and seems to be a set thing, as you can see for some reason, if you look on the monitor, you can actually see the speedometer of the car that's being driven, but you can't see the car itself. That tells me that he's in bonnet view, which also tells me that he very specifically wanted that barn to be in shot. So, I don't know, what does the barn have to do with? Could it be a barn find? Could it be a New Horizon story? Since there's some big pink flags around that area as well. I'm not sure, but regardless of that, there's still quite a lot of things in this image. I'm not sure. We'll find out on Monday, that's for sure. I'm not going to waste your time. Other than that, I don't believe there's anything else that I can kind of confirm. The things that are on the whiteboard that nobody's really guessed yet are the balloons, the text to the right of the balloons, and maybe the sonic thing and possibly the text below that. But other than that, we seem to have cracked everything else. We've got the root creator waypoint editor. We've got possible move achievements. We've got the possible duplicate selling cars. We've got the possibly searching for custom blueprints. We've got Forza Horizon Force for birthday. We've got the McLarens coming possibly, 600 LT, speed tail, fish tail, long tail thing. We've got possibly a new barn find, a new story, something to do with a barn. And we've got possibly some Italian spider cars coming as well. 
So that's eight different topics or things which could be coming in the update that we find out about on Monday. It seems like it may be quite a big one. Please do let me know in the comment section below if you found anything else about this image, if you have any opinions on it and what you want to see upcoming in the updates. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and I'll see you all later.